Hey everybody and welcome back to the garage. I wanted to give you a review of my new jet joiner planer combo I picked up off of Craigslist about two years ago. I've used it a fair bit on a bunch of different projects and a bunch of different species of wood. So now I think I can give you a good opinion of its performance. Let me show you what this thing can do. I've been trying to up my woodworking quality these days. You know, finally realizing that beginning a project with material I know to be square might be a good idea after all. I really wanted to move my quality meter from comfortably rustic to something that could be confused with beat up fine furniture. With my very limited space in the garage, I really needed a joiner planer combo solution. The joiner table is 29 inches long by 8 inches wide and the whole thing weighs a slim 60 pounds. Compared to my old Craftsman 6 inch joiner that was all cast iron, this one is a feather. This compact size is perfect for me to tuck into a corner, along the wall, and more importantly, lift by myself. Surprisingly, I didn't have to do too much tweaking to the fence. There's a couple of screws on the back, you just loosen them, straighten up the fence, and tighten them down. It's pretty easy. I'm not exactly sure what comes with this brand new, but I got two push blocks, an aluminum block for aligning the blades, and a couple tools. Okay, there's a couple things you need to do before you flip a switch and make a family heirloom with this thing. Putting this thing into joiner mode means you have to attach the dust chute to the movable bed and raise it into place with the height adjustment knob on top. There's a couple of positioning key things that you need to lock into the bed. That's what I'm trying to do right now. It's easier than it looks. Raise the table until the dust chute is held firmly in place. You don't need to gorilla tighten it. The chute is made out of some type of plastic. I'm sure it won't take much to crush the thing. That's a 4 inch dust chute that fits my Harbor Freight dust collector perfectly. Okay, loosen the two lock knobs on the back to release the jointer bed, and use the knob on the end of the bed to move the surface up or down. There's a small gauge on the left side of the jointer bed that shows how much you plan on cutting off. It's not the most accurate looking thing on the planet, so I just keep it shy of like 1 16th of an inch, and lock it down with the two knobs on the back. That wasn't deep enough on that pass, so I'm going to bump it up to a solid sixteenth of an inch on the next pass. Just a little bit of a tweak on that depth gauge made all the difference on this one. Now that I have the depth set, I found an old piece of mahogany in my woodpile. I'm going to run that through and see what this looks like. I'm trying to feed the material as smoothly as I can while keeping it pressed up against the fence nice and tight. Feeding the material slow is probably the best way to go. I mean, it is mahogany so it is pretty dense, but you know, it's a little machine. It's probably pretty underpowered. Not too bad, I just think I need to push it a little bit slower next time. Here's that other piece of wood as a comparison of how it looked before we planed it. Alright, on to planing. First thing we gotta do is unscrew the dust chute and remove it.
Now you have to take the dust chute and screw it down to the jointer top. There are two red screw knobs and a little plastic pin that has to be set. If you don't put that pin in correctly, it won't turn on. If the dust chute is flush to the jointer bed, you know that pin is in there correctly. For my first pass, I tried to put it at an inch and a half, but the little arrow gauge that indicates the height of the cutters, I think it indicates the height of the rollers, because halfway through the cut, I had to wind it down just so the cutters would engage the material. Unfortunately, there's only one speed for the planer. So putting this 2x4 through there, it's, it's really making that motor work for it. This is only a sixteenth of an inch I'm planing off. Not too bad on the 2x4. I did notice a little bit of snipe on the leading edge. And it's probably because of that really, really short infeed table. Now that I got one side of that mahogany jointed, might as well plane the other side. Let's see how far I can bog this motor down. One full revolution of that knob should be 3 30 seconds of depth. And I'm pretty sure I went deeper than that on this. After a couple passes, it did clean up that face of the board, although I did notice a quite substantial snipe on the edge. Well, what do you think? Did I get ripped off? I don't think so. The jointer operations work great for me. And for what I do, I have such a small shop, I need this thing to be small and compact. The type of projects I do, I don't usually joint really long pieces of wood or really wide pieces of wood. So I think for that instance, I think that'll be perfectly fine for me. I can live with it. Planing unfortunately is not so straightforward. The machine does plane. I would like to see a better way to determine the exact depth without the guess and check method, screwing it down, taking a little bit off, screwing it down, taking a little bit off, maybe taking a little bit too much. There's only one speed on the motor and I think it's a bit fast for what the small machine can really handle. The other thing I didn't like was snipe. You really can't get away from it unless you do some modifications and I think I might have to make an infeed bed for this thing. I don't know, I'll play around with that a little bit later. Maybe even make a video of it. Configuring the machine between joiner and planer really isn't that big of a deal. I mean, a couple of knobs, unscrew, roll it down, move it up. Considering I get two tools in one, 
I could definitely live with that. Even though there were some things I didn't like about this machine, I think I'll keep it. It's two tools in one, fits my shop, and definitely fits my budget. Well, there you have it. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you liked it.